And my name is Jing Bao, and I'm a medical officer working for the National Institute of Health and under the Columbia Technology. And tuberculosis is the ancient disease, and but also a very serious public health uh, threat up to this date. One third of the world population is infected with TB. So why tuberculosis pharmacovigilance is particularly important because treatment for the tuberculosis takes very long time. However, there has been no tuberculosis drugs over the la last, uh, la last few decades, and the current treatment strategies are almost every one of them are decades old. So the goal for the new drug drugs for tuberculosis are first to reduce the, uh, the burden of the drugs and second to reduce the duration of the treatment for these um, serious diseases. The, uh, the good news is for the first time in nearly 50 years, we have two new molecular entities for the treatment of TB are now available. They are already approved by uh, US FDA as well as the EU. The first drug is called Bedequiline. It is uh, approved to treat uh, pulmonary multi-drug uh, resistant tuberculosis. However, this drug is not safe because the, um, because the mortality rate in the treatment group shows that uh, almost four times higher than the, um, than the placebo group. The second drug is called Denaminate. This drug is uh, developed by Otsuka Pharmaceuticals and it's already approved, but also several safety concerns have been raised for this drug. Uh, National Institute of Health is the primary federal agency that for conducting as well as supporting um, biomedical research, not only for the preclinical studies, but also for international clinical trial studies. So there are altogether 27 institutes under NIH, and infectious diseases research are primarily supported by National Institute of Energy and Infectious Diseases, which is NIAID. And Division of AIDS is one of the divisions um, under NIAID. It supports HIV infection research as well as its co-infections. So NIH uh, sponsored study, uh, NIAID, Division of AIDS sponsored studies are taking place all over the country, all over the world. Uh, there are 45 countries and as well as 600 clinical trial sites, as c you can see from the previous dots. And NIH sponsored clinical trial studies are uh, strictly according to the uh, international regulations. This slide shows several examples for NIAID sponsored tuberculosis clinical trial studies. Um, this, uh, these studies are all uh, conducted with the collaboration for with the pharma co pharmaceutical companies. Uh, this is one of the examples of this uh, NIAID sponsored uh, studies uh, relate to TB. It's called the Remember study. Remember, remember. So the 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 study was conducted in 18 sites in many countries, and the the results have been published in the uh, Lancet in March 19. So for those of you who are interested in the details of the study. Um, you can go to the PubMed, and actually the, the result of the study is, is extremely important and interesting as well, because it shows that the mortality rate in both arms are actually pretty identical, which is somehow surprising. So there are many challenges uh, exist for tuberculosis drug development. I would say the predominant one is to, we really need a good, biological markers to evaluate safety as well as efficacy of the TB drugs, especially when you know, we know the TB is a public health threat and main, ma majority of the TB patients are existing in the, uh, in the developing countries. So uh, with this, thank you so much for your attention.